Oh, you're awake. Are you okay? No clue. We woke up here. Maybe we should just go back to sleep. Maybe you should just sleep forever. Everyone else is here too. This place is strange. It doesn't make any sense. I went to sleep in my own room. As did I. When I woke, I was here with the others. Everyone's here. Could this be an attack? Yamagishi, do you have an understanding of the situation? There are no signs of shadows. It seems we're safe for now, but... Huh? What the... Ladies and gentlemen! I have been waiting for you. Welcome to the Velvet Roo... <clears throat> I mean... For one night only, a magical paradise where a gathering of passionate souls revel as one! Welcome to Club Velvet! Whoa, that was unexpected. I mean, what's going on here? Who are you? That was merely an ingenious orchestration of a dazzling entrance. No big deal. Uh, you're calling yourself a genius? Whatever, she's such a hottie. You know her? No way! When did you meet her? But that means she's not an enemy, right? Well, what do you want with us? Ah, yes. Allow me to explain. However, I will not answer any more questions until I am done. She... she's kind of overbearing, huh? You think we're gonna be okay? Due to an incident involving my sisters, we shall be holding a ball here. Accordingly, I have summoned you all to proudly participate in the festivities. A ball? You mean, like a party? Ooh, sounds like fun! I'm totally down for that! Hold on, Iori. This doesn't seem like just any old party. What do you want us to do? Ah, yes! Thank you for asking. I would like for you, my guests, to dance for me! Dance? What? Oh, there's no need for rumination. It's as simple as following your heart and releasing your passion on stage. Uh, it doesn't sound simple. Sorry, but we don't have time for this. Ah, there's no need to worry about that. In the real world, you are all fast asleep. What happens here will only take place tonight, and then it will vanish like a fleeting dream. Regardless of how much time you spend here, it will not have any effect on reality. Um, so since we're in a dream, we can spend as long as we want here, and it won't matter? Yes, perfectly stated. In addition, once you wake in the real world, your memories from this place will all be removed. It will be quick and painless, allowing you to rise and shine just like any other morning. So please enjoy your time here to your heart's content. That's easy for her to say. Does she really expect us to go along with this? Why must we dance, though? You need to give us a reason. Why, you ask? Hmm, well... Ah... Uh... are currently on a very dark journey. I can only imagine how stressful it must be. I apologize for my audacity, but I only wish to provide you with some relaxation. Thus, I prepared such an occasion to lift your spirits for the days to come. Will this explanation suffice? You just thought of that, didn't you? Should you refuse me, I would have no to turn to. I would be unable to even the score with my incompetent sister for all of eternity. And without a doubt, my dignity would be trampled in the mud. Your sister? Oh, don't let it trouble you. That is truly a personal affair after all. 
Anyway, I thought I had done my utmost to support this man's journey from the shadows. Yet to think you won't even oblige one teensy little request from me. However, the blame rests solely with me. My sadness is deeper than the color of this room. Hey, she's crying. Those are obviously crocodile tears. She's attempting to appeal to our emotions. Uh, however, her acting lacks any true sentiment. What are we gonna do? You're indebted to her, right? Then she's an ally. And if that's the case, we can't turn our backs on her. I'm okay with it. What about you guys? I don't mind either. It's not like I have any strong objections. Wait, what? You're actually okay with dancing? <laughs> you have all accepted my terms, yes? A guest never goes back on their word, so our contract has been sealed. Now then, I ask that you all dance passionately and to your heart's content. I knew it. She didn't even try to hide how quickly her mood changed. But I didn't agree to it. First off, none of us have any dance skills or techniques. What will be done about that? Not to worry, as I am well aware. Club Velvet is a mysterious space that only exists within your dreams. Your emotions will be transformed into dance moves. Enabling your body to move exactly how you imagine it to. It's merely child's play here. <sighs> she completely has the upper hand. It seems we've fallen right into her trap. Fine by me. Sounds fun. Well, basically, we just have to dance and rile up the crowd, right? Um... Uh... Oh, I beg your pardon. It seems I forgot to introduce myself. The one who will be guiding, no, <laughs> producing you, is me. My name is Elizabeth. Please feel free to call me by my nickname, LP. Fine, whatever. So then, what do we need to do? Please tell us in more detail, uh, LP. Yes, just as Kenny Boy said, we're pressed for time here. Permit me to wrap things up and get right to the point. Uh, he didn't say that. And what's with the forced use of idioms? I shall gracefully forego the insignificant details and tell you about Club Velvet. First, this room you are in now is the VIP room, exclusively for your private use. Please utilize it as you wish, be it to practice or to chat with one another. Oh, so this isn't where we'll be performing? The dance floor where you will actually perform is located just outside this room. The images in a dancer's heart will create the stage on which they'll perform within reason. Within reason? That sounds scary coming from her. In addition, I have prepared a separate waiting room for each of you. Yo, for real? <laughs> We're like celebrities! To ensure that your waiting rooms will have a most relaxing effect on you, I have created each one to reflect the very rooms in which you spend your daily lives. I'll give you your keys so that until it's time to perform, you can relax whole heart... No, whole wheat? Whole, whole grain? Well, whatever. Relax how you would like. Our rooms? You mean our dorm rooms? Good. Then I can train. You're accepting this way too easily, senpai. Plus, what's the point of training in a dream? Now then, as leader of the dance team, please get this party started. Wait, what? You're our leader here too? That's fine with me. You're best suited after all. Go ahead. Huh? She did it herself. 
guess we'll just have to give this a go. By the way, I'm ready whenever. I'm still a bit lost, but I'll make sure to be ready too. We'll look to you, leader. Hey, it's our leader. What's up? You here to practice? Thank you. The ball is off to a smooth start. It seems this talented producer was correct about you all. Please excuse my audacity, but my heart is dancing as well. <laughs> I'm starting to get into the groove, too. We're totally gonna liven up this party. What promising words. Please enjoy the ball with your friends. But man, this place sure is strange. My body moves exactly how I imagine it to. I'm not worthy of such kind words. However, all I did was give a teeny boost to the strength of your heart, like always. Strength of our heart? You mean like our persona? Indeed. As you know, a persona is the strength of one's heart. Club Velvet is no different from your persona ability. The images you hold so dear in your heart manifest as movement. The strength of your heart equates to the strength of the passion you emit when dancing. I ask that you strive to make your mic drops reverberate and secure victory for me. Huh? Victory? Does that mean we're competing against someone? Oh my, how carelessly thoughtless of me. It seems I've made a slip of the tongue. In short, this is a big fight between me and my younger sister. Our pride is on the line. Ah, oh, I think you mentioned something like that at the start. I have a brash older sister as well. A short while ago, her guest resolved a certain incident by dancing. they used dance to appease a being that was kidnapping and enslaving people. Upon hearing that, my younger sister said, our guest could have resolved it faster. Her words lit an infernal flame within me. What about my guest, I thought? Would he be defeated? No, he would never. Uh, so basically you stood up to your sister, huh? Man, you're totally into this guy. I gotta admit, though, he's no average Joe. However, my impertinent sister wouldn't back down, so I came up with a plan. My older sister's guest resolved a situation with dance. So I stole, I mean, borrowed that idea and organized a dance competition with their guest. <laughs> Seems like it. Well, as long as it's fun. So how do we figure out who the winner is? Whoever moves the crowd most is kind of vague. The cheers that echo across the stage are the voices that rise from the sea of souls. In other words, countless unseen spectators are waiting in anticipation to watch you dance. How frenzied the audience is will be apparent, so the winner should be obvious. Uh, I'd like to say I get it, but I don't. Well, is there some kind of reward for winning? <laughs> I'll try even harder if there is. Of course there is. For real? Yes. In the event that you emerge victorious, I will forever honor your names as the most remarkable guests for generations to come. Uh... Wait, that's it? Above all, as your producer, your victory is also my victory. Thus, my impertinent younger sister will have been totally served, and I'd be ecstatic. Wow, I'm impressed with her honesty. And if we lose? We will all fall into an eternal hell of endless suffering and humiliation. Uh, hell? How vicious is your younger sister? There is 
no need to worry. When you wake, those memories will have disappeared into oblivion and be forgotten. That's not the issue here, and that smile's freaking me out! Then again, this is a private affair among sisters. Please do not let it worry you. As your producer, all I ask is that you perform amazing dance routines. You can do it, my dear guests! If you can't do it, no one can! Well, we got this, right? I mean, our team's got the amazing me and you. I'm gonna go tell everyone to give it their all. I'll be counting on you, too. nothing. Although I am not worthy, I, LP, will do my utmost to help you be victorious at this ball. Hmm. Huh. As you know, this room exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Space and even time escape the chains that would normally bind them. However, this is still a transient, fleeting dream that only lasts one night. Please do not forget this, regardless of the fate that awaits you on the road ahead. Then, there is nothing more that I must say. In any case, please focus your efforts on livening up the ball. Now, as I am quite busy being your talented producer, I shall take my leave. Oh, hey! Are you here to practice, too? I just finished, so I was chatting with LP. Looks like our dancing is a hit. The stage has been on fire thanks to your sharp moves. Perhaps that is where the phrase, night fever opens all doors, comes from. See? I don't understand what she's saying, but that's gotta mean we're doing great, right? By the by, Yukari, how is your waiting room? Let me know if you need anything. Oh, that? I was so surprised. It's exactly like my real room. I thought that you'd be able to best relax in your own rooms. Has my careful preparation as a talented producer struck a chord with you? I'm delighted to hear that! Then it was worth going through all the trouble. Anyway, it's really impressive. Mine's nearly perfect, even though it's a dream. One might say that it's the result of my daily observations. I've watched you from morning till night and committed every detail to memory. He has a point. That means you've been watching us this whole time, right? There's no need to worry. True to my duties, I won't speak a word of what I've learned. Such as the type of books Junpei collects or the style of underwear Mitsuru prefers. Or even what you recently purchased, Yukari. I believe it was diet... Whoa, stop right there. You're spilling all our secrets. Oh, pardon me. Gosh, so much for not speaking a word. How closely have you been watching us? My interest continues to be piqued with every action you all take in reality. Everything I laid my eyes upon unveiled a new surprise. It's all thanks to you that my eyes turn to the outside world. As a result, my view has expanded exponentially. I am grateful for that. Hmm, seems like she really trusts you. That must be why you were summoned this time, too. Of course, that is thanks to his friends as well. I have seen that you are capable of manifesting greater powers because you support one another. Ah, <laughs> thanks. You're good at maneuvering us as well, LP. Maybe you really do have a gift for this. 
I am honored by the compliment. Please enjoy the ball to your heart's content. Well, I'm gonna rest in my room until my turn. Might as well make use of it. Oh, before you go, there's something I forgot to tell you. The waiting rooms appear to be adjacent, but they are separate and completely soundproof. Be reassured that you can bang all you want in there, no problem. We'd never do that. I mean, what are you implying? Is there a problem with making as much noise as you need when practicing your dance moves? Oh, never mind. Being watched is a bigger problem anyway. Please be at ease. My lips are sealed with regards to what I have learned via my duties. That doesn't put me at ease at all. It's you. How are you? I was just about to ask LP some questions. So what do you normally do? I, LP, or Elizabeth, am one who governs power. I obey my master, and it is my duty to support my guest on their journey. When you say guest, you mean him, correct? I did not know that you were aiding him. Then are you aiding him in the real world now, while helping us here in the dream? That is a rather difficult question. Within this room, between dream and reality, you and I may not share the same now. The same could be said for him and me, or for my sister, her guest, and you all. That is indeed difficult. Our memories may disappear when we wake, but my experience here has been quite strange. No, since they are my memories with all of you, I do not wish to forget them. Your memories from this place will be stored deep within your unconsciousness when you wake. I cannot say for certain, but those memories will likely never resurface during your life. However, it's possible that their imprint within you will affect you in some way. So even if we aren't conscious of them, those memories will live on? I comprehend. Then, that means there's the possibility we've already had such experiences in the past. Hmm, who's to say? It's also possible that a similar fate awaits in the future as well. mystery indeed, LP. You created something truly amazing out of thin air. And I believe that everyone is greatly enjoying it. Is that so? To me, you are all much more mysterious than I. We are? Well, of course. You truly are a treasure trove of endless possibilities. And that is the reason why I departed on a journey to fulfill my own wish. It seems my inner flames of passion have caused me to say too much. However, this will all be forgotten when you wake, so everything should be fine. Okay then, farewell! <sighs> Anyway, according to LP, even if we are to forget, our experience here may help us one day. Now that we know that, we can't take this lightly. We must all do our very best. LP about our situation. The ball has reached its peak. The excitement on stage is that of a raging storm. You are likely nearing victory. Would you agree? Hearing you say that pumps 
keeps me full of confidence. Everyone is doing great. I have to continue doing my best as well. But you mustn't take your eyes off the prize. I sense a similar amount of excitement from the dance floor in my younger sister's domain. Really? I can't sense a thing. Oh, it's only because of my keen intuition as a talented producer that I can sense it. She's always been arrogant, but this is the first time she hasn't backed down. She must be quite confident in her guest's ability. I must gird my loins for the showdown. She doesn't respect me as her older sister, so I am resolved to teach her a lesson. Why don't you two get along? What is your younger sister like, LP? To put it bluntly, she's tiny and sassy and thinks she knows everything in the world. Well, yes, she's literally small and impertinent. She's part of the know-it-all generation. Hmm, so there are others like you, LP? Allow me to take this opportunity to introduce the rest. My elder sister is my rival. She rambles on and on while maintaining a haughty attitude. My younger brother is a naive pup, worthy of teasing. His height is his most mature trait. Lastly, there's me and my impertinent younger sister. We all serve the same master. Wow, that's a big family. It must be fun to have so many siblings. That sums up my siblings. But as I've mentioned, we all believe that our guest is most truly remarkable. Understand that this mini-sibling competition is because we take great pride in our duties. Oh, <laughs> that is also one way to put it. The way in which we compete against each other could be considered a means of bonding. We are awkward siblings who know no other way of doing so. Huh. Adults sure are complicated. But even when I'm filled with love for them, there are moments when my blood boils. I might blast them with inferno flames, but that is the type of relationship we have. I, I see. That aside, tonight's ball is exquisite. I'm sure it'll be passed down for eons to come. There's no doubt that even my master will be pleased. Mm -hmm. Upon further thought, I cannot allow my master to find out about tonight's engagement. If he learns that we used this room to settle our quarrel, we'll be in big trouble. That doesn't sound good. There's no need to worry. I must simply keep things quiet. Luckily, I have a very obedient younger brother. <laughs> it sounds like you're up to something. Is that LP? Velvet, oh velvet, my master has... Mm. Hmm. It is without a doubt a wonderful song. However, it may not be suitable to dance to. Dear me, I was so focused on my personal matters that I didn't notice you two. I have truly let my guard down. More importantly, how's the ball going? From all the cheers, it seems to be revved up. Yes, the ball has reached its peak. Forgive my forwardness, but I am ecstatic at how it has exceeded my expectations. Viva the ball! Bravo, everyone! Club Velvet forever! The point is, I'm enjoying this on a personal level beyond my duty as your producer. Still, I'm surprised at how good we all dance, even though we're amateurs. Thank you. 
as your talented producer, that was simple enough. Or so I'd like to say. But the power of your imagination has played a big part in it. To be blunt, no matter how much power you borrow from me in this room, I presume that only you and your group can perform such wonderful dances. Your individual strengths are impressive, but the energy when you're together is undeniable. The source of this comes from mutually enhancing each other. Good encounters give birth to power. I'm getting excited seeing that for myself. Please continue to use that power to further invigorate the ball. Hmm? <gasps> what a surprise! I had completely forgotten that this ball was created for that purpose. I humbly request that you leave everything to me, LP. My intuition as your talented producer tells me your absolute crushing victory is nigh. <laughs> Actually, it wouldn't be exaggerating to say that you've already won from the start. Well, there's no point in us worrying about our opponent. We'll just enjoy this. That is extremely not a problem at all. The more you all enjoy this, the more wonderful this ball will become. Ah, who will be dancing next? I cannot wait to see. I'm trembling just thinking about it. I must sing a song to express this emotion. Velvet, oh velvet, the party goes on and on and on. <sighs> Our producer sure is unpredictable. here. Thanks to you, the ball is a great success. In fact, it's already reached legendary status. My, you're quite full of yourself. Please go forth and reach for greater heights. Well, everyone is greatly enjoying this. It's been a nice break from our tension. I must express my gratitude to you. Thank you for inviting us, LP. I humbly accept your thoughtfulness. However, the ball is far from over. There are no time limits. Please express your passionate soul to your heart's content. Yes, it's been long enough that I comprehend. But this is such a strange sensation. It feels as if we just arrived here a moment ago. Your ability to create such a place, to us it seems like a godly power. Who are you all? I am currently a talented producer, but our original duty is that of a humble guide. All we can do is aid you on your journey. In actuality, our powers are not as unlimited as you may think. As proof, it isn't rare for situations to arise where even our existences are in danger. That's hard to believe. Are there really such powerful foes out there? All I can say to you is this. During those times, there have been and always will be those who rise in opposition. I believe you should do your best in the situation you find yourself in. So don't meddle and just do what we can. <laughs> That's trustworthy advice, in a way. Very well. Our powers are limited anyway. We'll concentrate on what lies before us. Now that that has been concluded, let us continue on with the ball. As I just mentioned, your possibilities are limitless. How you were assembled here was fate as well. Please carve your own paths on the stage. <laughs> she completely swayed us. Or, should I say, produced us. Now then, I should practice a bit. Would you care to join me?
Yo, what's up? Everyone's here. I wonder what the important announcement from our producer could be. Has the competition finally concluded? Perhaps the winner is going to be declared. Oh, I forgot about that. To be honest, I was completely focused on dancing. I feel like I've danced enough to last me a lifetime. It was a lot of fun, though. Regardless, there's no mistaking that the end of the ball has arrived. It's rather sad if that is the case. Guess this is superstar Junpei Yori's lamented and teary-eyed retirement interview, huh? No one would lament that. And you're not a superstar. You're just a guy who fishes for compliments. Hey! <gasps> this again. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? I deeply apologize for the lengthy wait. I, Elizabeth, better known as LP, have valiantly taken the stage. Yeah, you go, LP. This reminds me of a wrestling match. More importantly, did you really need to turn off the lights? I hear varying opinions from the audience, but I will press on without wasting my breath. Now, for what you've all been waiting for, the important announcement from LP! But before that, as my guest and representative of the others, I would like to hear your thoughts on the ball. There we have it! He had fun! Woohoo! I was extremely delighted to have been your producer. It was worth doing all I could for you. Uh, I don't know how she keeps her energy up. Well then, if you don't mind, I also wish to say a few words. Even though you were suddenly brought here, with your help, the stage was constantly thriving. I have indeed witnessed the miraculous passion that surges from a strong heart. The ball was a great success. I, LP, humbly thank you once again. <laughs> we had fun, too. It's like I feel all fired up and I can take on anything now. Yeah, it was a nice breather. If I may put it bluntly, it no longer matters who won or lost. What? Huh? The excitement of the crowd and your smiling faces after reflecting, I realized that I was being prideful, and I am now searing with shame. You're on fire? How terrible. I think she means burning with shame, probably. <laughs> There's no need to feel ashamed. Everyone acts stubborn from time to time. Thank you. But then again, we definitely didn't lose. I will never concede on that. <laughs> I guess you can't let it go. I've come to a realization after watching you. There's no point in comparing our guests. Those with the will to stand up to their destiny are all equally wonderful. I feel like she's trying to avoid the issue, but at least she seems to be praising us. Also, if I might add one more thing. Your dancing gives power to all who witness it. That must be because you put your whole heart into it. True. We did our very best to dance with sincerity. I'm glad that was conveyed. Now then, enough with the long prologue. Let's move on to the main subject. I, LP, humbly wish to make an important announcement. <laughs> I've been waiting for this. Are you going to announce an awesome prize? That is correct. Wait, really? In honor of my reputation as a talented producer, I have prepared a token of my gratitude for you. I believe this is known as reward time? Hell yeah! I'm so glad I did my best. Right, I have a bad feeling about this. I'm convinced that it is much more magnificent than that. LP's big surprise, the fabulous reward is...
Dancer Elizabeth's long-awaited debut on the stage! What? Huh? When you say debut, does that mean... Indeed! I, myself, will dance with all my heart! Though I am not worthy, I want you to feel the passion surging from my fervent dance! Uh, so that's our reward? That is perfectly fine by me. Let's see her in action. What? While I watched you all, images overflowed and flooded my mind. Your dancing seems to have awakened my inner passion as well. It just wouldn't do if I didn't display it, as it is also one of my duties as a producer. Please be at ease. For now, it will just be a normal dance. I am ready, so please call for me whenever you'd like. It's party time! Come on! Let's dance! Woohoo! <laughs> LP is fired up! It appears that the ball will go on for a while longer. Well, that's fine by me. It's fun after all. <laughs> Looks like I missed my chance to retire. The legend of my stardom continues. It never actually began. You want to stick around a little while longer? We're counting on you, LP, and I'm excited to see you dance. I am resolved to give it everything I have so that I may live up to your expectations. Now, I request you to start this party time, which in turn marks the finale of the ball. Simply bust out, witness LP's celebratory performance, or the party never stops. Maybe something like, let's do this, or yeah, would do the trick. Sure, let's go with that. Okay, go for it. Yes! Oh, yeah. 